Okay, so we're back. And I want to talk a little bit just about how to hook up rural businesses. So I'm just going to walk you through. If you already know this, that's great. Okay, so if we go way up here, see Portland has a brewery and a meat industry. Okay, so they need on the far left underneath there of those two things that I have highlighted, you'll see the first one needs wheat and the second one needs beef. Okay, so what you would do is put a line right here, which I do have a train. See my beef is right there and I'm bringing beef in here. Obviously I need to put another train on there to bring more. That's what the blue is for. Now I need, I also need wheat. And as you can see, I have a line coming in with wheat. So I got a train full of wheat. Actually not, I wouldn't say full, but there's a train of wheat there. So now they're both hooked up. That's, you can hook up like everything that's close to you if you want, but it doesn't, you don't really get a benefit for that at first. So see New York has meat, so we're using that same meat place and New York needs cotton. See, there's not really any cotton close by. So that's kind of a waste of an industry. Now, if we go up to Chicago, Chicago has beef again. And see, I have my beef guys right there. So that's, that's the easiest way of doing things. Now, Washington, see if we click on Washington, we have a brewery and a weaving factory. So there's our wheat right here that's going to snake its way back to Washington. So see, we got it there. Now we need cotton. Our cotton is way over here. Okay, so we need, we need to hook that up. If we don't, if, oh, it's, I don't know what that was. It's, if we don't hook this up, it's it's not going to do us any good, right? So we could go ahead and put it there. So then I'll put. Let's just zoom in here quickly. Get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and put a maintenance shed in because it's, it's kind of far away. And I will put supply towers too. Okay, let's go with the expensive. It is food that I'm bringing. Okay, so we just grab that there. And then we'll grab it over to Washington. And there we go. So now it just, it's a matter of me putting in some supply towers. The thing to know about supply towers is they need to be ever so often and you can't put them on a bridge. So you don't want to have massive bridges. And just one supply tower is probably not going to be enough. See here we got our train going there. See it didn't take long did it? Now I should probably do more than one. But for now that gives you an idea right? See how the gears are moving? on the brewery but they're not moving on the factory problem is factory needs cotton it hasn't gotten there yet once it does you'll see you'll see the gears start to move so if I just speed this up we get our train over there quicker you'll see what I mean once they get see gears are still working on the brewery because it's making it's got lots of wheat now the weaving factory doesn't okay all right we're still oh it's getting supplies okay just being a little slow that's all Waiting for Washington to Charlotte.
Yeah, we'll just ignore that for now. That doesn't help with the video here. Okay, so now that that guy got out of the way, we're gonna come in. I, in reality, I should double train track that, and I will later. Okay, so watch this. See the gears are still moving on the left. Not super fast though. Now our cotton's in. It's on loading. Now it's turn around. No, actually that was a different train. See how the gears are moving now? On this one? See? Moving not too bad, right? This one here is a little slow. So I probably should put another train on that one. Okay? So now that's going to make money. So that just gives you an idea. And it's the same for any any rural industry. You could like hook up this, for instance. Which I, I have a station, but it's mainly there to get the wheat. If you if you just send this in, there's no demand for it, right? So nothing old. They're not shipping in, in that. We could have beef here too, but in Washington, there's no as of right now. There's no beef. Of course, you can put a third one once it gets ninety thousand, and then you can put an attraction usually in the fourth one. Okay, but you get if you just hook up everything just willy nilly. It's, it's not really going to benefit you a whole lot. So just an idea. Just give you an idea of what to do. And and uh, so once you have it set up like I do right now and you got tons of money, it's a good idea to just kind of go around and try to hook up all these cities. The other thing that it'll do is it'll help your city grow. If you don't hook it up, you're not going to grow. So if we just click on Washington quickly. Oops. See, it's 55,000 up in the sort of the mid top left and it's climbing up like literally as I'm talking it's going up right okay so that's how you get more population which will open these other boxes hey I hope you got something out of that thanks and uh, feel free to uh, watch some of my other videos